Shivers just ran down my spine as soon as we entered this room. Desco senses a tremendous force. This presence is nothing short of a final boss. Then he must be here somewhere. The demon of all demons who rules the netherworld. Father! <laughs> Your fear is unnecessary. The president is the leader of a rotten netherworld. He's merely the embodiment of rotten demons. <laughs> I appreciate the introduction, Tyrant Velvetorius. Th that's... He's... The netherworld president, Amizel's daddy! Father... I praise all of you for reaching this place alive, you brave, yet foolish rebels. Desco is scared, big sis. His presence shows that he's on a totally different level than we are. It's okay, it's okay. This is just a dream. I mean, toughen up, Desco. You're gonna be the final boss, aren't you? Yes, you're right. Desco shouldn't be scared. Desco is gonna be the final boss. I've been waiting for this, Mr. President. Or should I say, Death King Hugo! It has been a while, Valvatores. Who would have imagined you would be the one leading the rebellion? I was surprised when I received the initial reports. You know my father? Indeed. We fought each other once, a long time ago. Oh, that battle. My blood still stirs in excitement just from thinking about it. Our violent battle went on for days on end. We never got to settle it, as I recall. So, is Valsy supposed to be like some super crazy strong dude? Idiot. Have you only just realized that? Well, better late than never. Now, be sure to call him Lord from now on. Roger that. I'll be calling him Lord Valsy. Keeping that lighthearted attitude even during the serious moment. Desco still has a lot more to learn from Big Sis. True. Such levity in front of the president. It's rather encouraging to see. Valva Torres, what do you seek to accomplish by forming a rival party? You don't even have your power anymore. I heard you became a Prinny instructor in Hades, but did your tyrant blood begin to boil in a rage of discontent? Nope. I'm happy with my job as a Prinny instructor. I'm rather proud of it. It's quite rewarding. If you hadn't issued that Prinny extermination order, I would still be in Hades, happily training the next crop of Prinnies. Now answer my question, Death King Hugo. You were more passionate about spreading fear amongst the humans than anyone else I knew. What happened to you? Why did you imprison innocent demons? Why did you let the humans get out of control? What is happening between you and the humans? Letting the humans get out of control? So that's how you see it? Coming from you, one who I've personally fought fist to fist, I take those words to heart. Is everyone else here in agreement? Have you all come here to take my head for the reason Valvatoris stated? D D Desco wants to defeat Mr. President to become a final boss. My goal is to collect all the money that has been leaked to the netherworld illegally. I'm just here to complete my mission. Your office is my target. I'm gonna become the president so I can change the law and make people treat printies like VIPs. How about you? Are you here for revenge, Emizel? Absolutely not. I just want to prove to you that the spoiled Emizel, who wrote his father's coattails, no longer exists. I'm here to prove that Amizel has been reborn as a great demon who was worthy of being his father's son. Hmm. Werewolf, what about you? I assume you're the man who is behind this conspiracy. My schemes are only made valid with my master's presence. I cannot claim credit for it. My goal is a secret. I have no reason to tell you what it is. I see. <laughs> Ha 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 
Look at you, as divided as can be. And to think that the Corrupterment has been tossed around by a party that is in such discord. That's right. We're completely inconsistent. Each one of us has something different to say. However, our intentions and goals aren't the bonds that are holding us together. It's nothing as insignificant as those. We're connected by something much deeper and stronger. That is, the camaraderie that we've built through our various battles. Where we were born, how we live, not even what we are. None of us have anything in common. All we have is our camaraderie. However, there is no weakness to be found in our bond. My lord. Valvatores. Mr. Valzi. Lord Valzi, I've really got to say, you're standing out way too much in my dream. Demon camaraderie? <laughs> Mr. Weirdo. Valvatores, as a tyrant, you used to refuse any membership within a group. But now, here you are, talking about camaraderie? This is more surprising to me than learning that you were the head of the rebels. Huh. I'm evolving for the better every day. And it's all thanks to sardines and that one promise I made. So you say. I'll be the judge of whether it's evolution or simply degeneration. The pleasure is all mine! While we're at it, why don't we settle that battle we started so many years ago? Hey guys, what's shaking? Uh, we got ourselves a boss fight here now, don't we? Oh, those... I was curious as to what, um... The boss was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be his own special character, but he turns out he's a, a death class. Just with a weird face. Now, what's that second ability do? Oh! Makes his bouncer stronger. How nice of him. Uh, so yeah, there's no trick to this fight. You just gotta approach it slowly, you know, so you don't get bum rushed by all these. Well, they are called exorcists, which is the first first level of the Lady Samurai, which is what we'll be going over today. Um, so yeah, just uh, do this fight uh, methodically. At attack from afar in waves. I think the enemies only really push forward if you get within their attack range. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how this goes in a sec. Meanwhile, uh, the Lady Samurai. That, this is the class we're going to be going over. Uh, this is a really good class. Let's let's get started. The Lady Samurai are specialist damage dealers. They're good at dealing high damage to monsters, especially in item world, where you're likely to find a high percentage of monster type targets. Being able to focus on a single target for extra damage, these swordswomen hack through gatekeepers and bosses with equal finesse. A good sword and the combination of Cleanse Evil and Calm Waters will do impressive things for your party. Have other members clear out the riffraff and bring in your Lady Samurai for the most important kills. Oh yeah. Um, in case you didn't realize, uh, the base ability, Calm Waters, increases attack power by 30% when attacking a single unit. Yeah. So, it's kind of like a measle, only, only it's a 30% and it's for... Um, uh, any attack, not just magic. So, um, she is really great at, uh, killing strong individuals. Um, let's see. To unlock a Lady Samurai, raise a Valkyrie and an Archer to level 30 or higher. Their fortes are in bows and swords. Um, I'm not certain what the last sword technique they learn is. However, definitely go swords over bows for the power. Uh, swords have a lot of single target attacks, like uh, cross rush. Um, yeah, yeah, cross rush demon or something like that. Um, the awesome soaring non upple, the fantastic crimson rain, and the super cross lord. Lots of good moves. However, you could also argue that they are probably the best unit in the game to use axes. 
because axes primarily hit single targets. Um, the attack power with an axe is the highest in the game, and they also have really good critical hits. So, um, possibly if you want, if you if you've leveled up your warrior to a good enough level and they've learned most of their axe skills, and you want to become something else, consider a lady samurai. I'm sure they won't mind the the sex change when it comes to how much extra damage they'll be doing. All right, uh, their movement and throwing range is four, a uh, little, a little below average, but you can fix that in the character's world. Uh, they're 25% resistant to fire, 50% weak to wind, and 25% weak to ice. That's a bit of a shame. Um, the Exorcist, the base class, has HP aptitude of 100, SP 90, attack 120, defense 100, intelligence 80, resistance 70, hit 110 and speed 100. Um, so decent attack, not the highest, but overall decent, and um, uh, it, it's really their their damage. They, they have good enough abilities where their damage is just going to be outright nuts. Alright, then after the Exorcist, we have the Diabolist, the Holy Swords Woman, the Battle Maiden, the Carnage Princess, and the Blade Master. Sounds like a children's anime cartoon. Alright, the Blade Master has an HP aptitude of 125, SP 100, attack 145, defense 125, intelligence 90, resistance 80, hit 135, and speed 125. All around, pretty decent. Uh, let's see. Um, their second ability, Mind's Eye, negates enemy attack bonuses when attacked from the flanks or the rear. So if they have an ability that gives them a bonus from attacking from either side, uh, that negates it. Um, it'll be cheap, so you might as well learn it in the meantime, but she has better abilities later on. Uh, euthanasia. Normal attacks cause a death blow if the target has less than 25 HP. I think it means less than 25% of their HP. Supposedly, uh... Uh, this would only be useful against the biggest and toughest of bosses, um, where their HP counts is in the multi-millions, and you just happen to get them low enough but you can't kill them, so just send them out and do a death blow. Eh, you never know. Of course, I think they'll be more useful if you come if uh, with this last ability, cleanse evil, increases damage to monsters by 25%. Half of the units in the games are monsters. So, if you add that with her base ability when attacking monsters, you'll do an extra 55% damage. And that's if you... I think. It might be. Yeah, yeah it, should be, it should be 55. Um, tons of monsters in the item world and even in the normal world. And even if... So, I think this is a really good ability for her to have. Um, so, just imagine that kind of power. Uh, she, she'll be fine with swords. I mean, swords are great in their uh, versatility. I mean, uh, Crimson Rain is a secret move you learn that can hit like five spaces away a single target. So, And then Rune Dimension, of course, hits a whole row of enemies, so that's always awesome. Although axes will probably need more powerful, and you probably have a bunch of sword users in Valvatoris and somebody else. So use what you don't, you know, either or. If you make a if you make a lady samurai from scratch as opposed to reincarnating from somebody else, you should obviously use swords because she can't learn axe skills that way. And that's pretty much it. Um, a really good damage class, one that I don't see a lot of people uh, making too often for whatever reason. I, although I must say I'm guilty of not making her myself. I haven't made, got to her yet, but um, by the end of the game. That is one of the better abilities to have. So I might end up making an Exorcist one of my... Possibly my primary axe user. Or primary sword. You know, it's hard to say. I, I like to use a few... I like to use a few of the main uh, characters. And then like another few generics. A lot as, as like my main cast of ten. Just have to get around to doing the, the dirty work. 
So as you can see, uh, with the amount of enemies in this tight amount of space, you could get overrun if you didn't have enough powerful units to take them all out. Like, I know some people, like, only level up maybe Valvatoris and maybe one other character, and but they just get overwhelmed by this level. And that's why I like having a large mix of part, a big party. I think Desko's gonna run out of SP very soon. I just want to get rid of those bouncers so that um, Hugo doesn't have that uh, boost anymore. Because look, he has a bouncer on every side, so his defenses are increased by 60% right now. Dual K9 Fist. Woo -hoo! What is he gonna do? Normal attack, it seems. <laughs> that SP damage you did probably put her over the edge. I've been sneezing a lot more. Must be allergies. I don't know what I have an allergy to. It must be something outside and, like, wet. It's getting colder and damper outside. Um, oh yeah, uh, like I said, I, I, ch I went to Comic-Con with my friends on the weekend. Uh, I've never been before. It's, it's pretty neat. Um, I wouldn't spend a whole weekend there. Uh, I only went for Saturday. Um, if, if it was my first convention ever, I probably thought it was the tits, but, um, I, I've been going to Otakon for, like, ten years now, so. Uh, so, I, I'm, I'm kind of used to that. But, it, it's still a lot of fun seeing a lot of really neat, good cosplayers. Like, I, I think it's cute seeing the families, like, families and their kids go as, like, Batman characters. You know, that's, that's, that's nice. I'll, I'd probably do that when I have a family force my kids to like the stuff I do. Like any good parents would. Cross Demon Rush, that's what it's called. Um, I, I think I, there was something I wanted to mention regarding that convention, but I can't remember what. I'm like, wait till my Let's Play viewers hear about this, but I can't, I can't remember what I was thinking of. And now I now I need to think about what what I wanted to say at the, at the convention. Um, they they had some. Oh, that's right. The if anyone else went, let me know. But um, at, at like the Capcom panel, I got to try out uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. <coughs> you know, uh, pretty someone to come to terms with, but also some uh some weird things I didn't know how to do yet, like switch juggling into a character switch. It was was kind of weird. Uh, it, it, it this game is its own beast. Uh, it's it's pretty fun to play. Um, you know, I, I tried Ken and Bob from Tekken. Uh, I I wanted to do Lars, but they didn't have him. He's like one of the few, either that or like Eddie Gordo or or Christy. I, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of Tekken, but uh, you know, Street Fighter that's classic. Um, you know, Ken's always a safe bet, so I tried him out. Also, if they had the game Ashura's Wrath, if you've never seen that game, it, it looks, it's like, wow, it, it's like God of War on, on speed, and just rage, rage, rage. But, uh, speaking of, the cool thing was, the game, uh, the booth had a scream box, where you had to try to hit 100 decibels with your voice, and if you did, you won it, you got an item and a poster. So you're just walking, watching these people go into a booth, and yell as loud as they can, but it's only like, it, it sounds a bit muffled, so I, th I think that's hysterical. Um, and of course, the girls are getting it quite easily. <laughs> and you, you see like an eight-year-old girl, 
a girl walk into the booth, and I'm like, oh, 100, easy. She's probably gonna get 400. And, you know, she just does that little girl scream and just knocks it. And, and you know, j just, just shatters the record easily. No contest. Uh, oh, yeah, what I'm trying to do, uh, I thought that Keeper of the Abyss was a character-specific move, and you need to see all the skills in this game for a trophy. So I'm trying to bait him into uh, doing it by standing in the exact formation necessary and just going into defense, and then, because he's the only one left, and um, I know I can kill him despite his HP. You know, just gonna weaken him a little bit. And, you know, when I see the move, it's awesome, but it's really just the death class's last move, but I didn't know that at the time. Here you go. Hey guys, where are we? I don't know. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Anyone catch the number of that bus? I I thought that move was awesome. It's like, oh no, just a normal death. Any of them can do that. Although it really sounds really cool with uh with Hugo doing the voice. Anyway, now time to kick his ass. You want, uh... Val's in the heart cannon, so you want him right next to him. There we go. Let's just do it. Four attacks, possibly. I didn't see what his HP count was. <laughs> Three every time. Enough! Oh, but only- oh, barely! Didn't get him. Should've threw in a dual canine fist in there. And boom goes to dynamite. Alright, there we go. Thanks for watching, guys. We did it! We got him! Desco is now! Sweet! We finally got to the happy ending! I can't believe it. Did we really defeat my father? As expected of you, Tyrant. You are the only man in history who has ever inflicted a wound upon my skin. But it seems you haven't regained all of your original power yet. Neither have you. Everyone keep your guards up! That wasn't his full power! We can expect at least three levels of transformations with additional power multipliers every time! Seriously? Oh, come on. My dream seems to love all kinds of unnecessary excitement. I should be ashamed for thinking that we would be able to settle this so easily. Father's transformations! This will be my first time seeing them! The true power of the president! It's scary, but Desco is ready to witness it! This is a great learning experience! 
The President is just another obstacle that stands in the way of my Lord's true mission. All is for my Lord. With every fiber of my being, I will get him! <laughs> There's no need to be so tense. That was all the power I have. I have nothing left. Not even the power to transform. What? No way! Desko is very disappointed. Huh? Then does that mean this is the happy ending? I hope it'll be this easy. Huh? Why are you so negative? Call it being rational. I just know the harshness of reality. How? Why, Father? How is it possible that you have no power left? Death King Hugo! You can't possibly tell me that this is how our battle is going to be settled! Explain this to me. The Yakshas, the Overlords, and now even you have become a wimp! I have lost most of my power as well. Consequently, like you, I can no longer transform into my true form. The effects of the fear energy. So you knew. Elva Torres has indeed been gifted with a great partner. The fear energy? I feel like I've heard those words before. What was that again? It's the energy that's created when humans are scared of the darkness. Human fear is like water and oxygen for us demons in the netherworld. And then there's the awe energy, which is created when humans worship the heavens. Awe energy gives us celestial servants power and courage. Huh, talk about eco-friendly. The amount of fear energy, which gives demons their power, is decreased every year. Its effects are greater on demons with more power. Most of the demons who serve the Corruptorment have become worthless. But it's not like the decrease in fear energy just started recently. With the development of scientific technology, the humans began to create less and less fear energy. However, this would have been stopped if we demons fulfilled our basic responsibility of scaring the humans! We tried. The entire netherworld worked around the clock to plant more fear into human minds. However, the humans progressed much faster than we expected. They ousted the demons using their scientific advancements. And it wasn't just science. They developed a much more dreadful power, which incorporated technology with magic. It was a violent power that brought out fear in us demons in return. Th that's a total lie! I didn't read about any of that in my textbooks! We have electricity and gas, but I've never heard of or seen magic technology before. Human girl, the technology that is made public in the human world is only the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure you've experienced falsified information from the authorities firsthand by now. Ugh. Basically, humans have developed the ability to keep their fear energy to themselves. No one can stop them now. Keep their fear energy to themselves? Impossible! How could they? It's simple. If humans begin to only fear themselves, the energy they build up will stay within the human world. Wars, terrorism, weapons of mass destruction, accidents caused by human error, and daily incidents of murder. What the humans fear now are humans themselves. Horror stories and urban legends, they're all created to make humans fear themselves. Seriously? You mean horror movies were created so us humans can hog all of our fear energy? That's correct. The distribution of fear energy to the netherworld has been completely cut off. Completely? Not only will demons diminish, but the netherworld itself will be totally eroded away! Fortunately, or perhaps unfortunately, apparently demons have become valuable research materials for humans. So one day, the humans came over to bargain with us. In exchange for their fear energy, they asked to study and research demon bodies. You fool! Agreeing to that will only give the humans even more power to abuse. 
It was either forced oppression or slowly succumbing to a lack of fear energy. We were doomed either way. Hmm. So the humans would have gotten what they wanted anyway. Those humans! Cowards! So, Deska was the result of that research. So you were forced to make that deal with the humans. Father, I had no idea. I didn't know anything about that. They've only been allowing a minimal amount of fear energy to trickle into the netherworld. You've seen the effects of that already. Goodwill has vanished from many humans' hearts, and the number of Prinnies sent to Hades kept increasing exponentially. To conceal the weakening of the Corruptorment and prevent possible rebellion, falsifying information became inevitable. The reason behind the presence of waste from the human world and those mutated demons. The reason for trying to control the netherworld with the A-Virus. The reason for everything. Indeed. The netherworld has already been brought under the control of a single human. Valva Torres and his party were astonished by the shocking news that was revealed to them by Netherworld President Hugo. This unbelievable truth only led the party down a much darker path. The truth has been revealed! And a new enemy awaits. How could anyone have imagined the Netherworld was being controlled by a human? That's right! Our new enemy is the Purine. Sardines, which I had so much faith and respect for, possess mass amounts of Purines. Prunes? Ugh, I hate prunes. No, you fool. It's Purines. They are definitely more horrific than prunes. Just go ask your father. Your Purines are broken down into uric acid in your body. They become enemies of patients who have hyperuricemia. Hyperuricemia is basically what causes gout. But don't worry. Purines are also found in many other foods. So basically, what I'm trying to say is... Eat sardines and refrain from eating too many other foods. Oh, that's a really easy solution. Final episode, Magic Knight Valvatore's Hyper Sardine Syndrome. The war clouds are calling for me! The bottom line is, you just want people to eat sardines, no matter what!